as i mentioned in all the chapters pregnancy involves or includes all the chapters right so we'll learn few guidelines which we have in this pregnancy chapter first guideline would be a pregnant woman has hiv how we need to code pregnant woman has hiv how we will be coding we have a separate combination code stating that hiv in pregnancy hiv in pregnancy the code series starts with o98 the code series with o98 followed by hiv whether it might be confirmed or symptomatic asymptomatic we have separate separate codes right b20 and z codes like that based on the document you can go with that but here you need to assign first you need to assign pregnancy hiv in pregnancy followed by hiv code which is o98 followed by hiv code next for diabetes for diabetes we do have combination code stating that diabetes in pregnancy pregnancy involved diabetes the terminology will be like that in that case you need to code o24 for diabetes in pregnancy followed by e series whether it might be whatever might be the diabetes from e e08 to e13 whatever might be the code series based on your documentation you need to assign additionally but first code should be o24 as i mentioned in previous videos as well whenever we are coding pregnancy charts o series should be first followed by other conditions in order to give few more clarity stating that yes the patient has this condition this type this specific specificity or this acuity because other chapter code series gives a better information rather than complicate um, pregnancy complication but first listed should be your pregnancy complication followed by other next gestational diabetes what does it mean patient doesn't has diabetes earlier during pregnancy patient developed diabetes patient developed diabetes in this case will be coding different code the code series is same but o24.4 we will be coding for gestational diabetes gestational diabetes that means de diabetes developed during pregnancy previously we will be coding o24. Dot some other code 1 2 3 like that here we will be coding o24.4 because the diabetes de developed in pregnancy due to xyz resources or reasons we don't know tip for this video or this guideline is don't assign any other diabetes code don't assign any other diabetes code because if the diabetes is pre-existing or the patient already has then you can assign here we are clearly stating that it is due to pregnancy it is in gestational diabetes that's the reason we'll be coding like this o24.4 now fluctuation in glucose there is abnormal glucose level in pregnancy will be coding separate code series which is o99.81 code which is o99.81 for abnormal glucose in regular scenario we'll be coding r series right here we'll be coding o99.81 whenever there is an abnormal glucose in pregnancy no matter whether it is before delivery or during delivery it depends on the next characters but ideally we need to go with this o99.81 the sixth and seventh characters gives an Im impression whether it is before delivery or after delivery or during delivery what it is next the favorite topic in medical coding sepsis and septic shock if you have sepsis on septic shock first go with sepsis including pregnancy or sepsis involved pregnancy followed by r series followed by r series first you will be coding infection that means sepsis during pregnancy or preg sepsis involved pregnancy followed by r series this is the guideline for sepsis next pupil sepsis that means peripheral sepsis what does it mean in this condition or in this kind of document you need to code o85 in this condition you need to code o85 followed by b series to give organism to justify organism but don't code r series 
whenever we you have a documentation stating that peripheral sepsis p u e p r a l sepsis because it seemed like gestational diabetes it seemed like gestational diabetes it is developed during pregnancy in the same way the sepsis developed during pregnancy that's the reason we'll be assigning o0 sorry o85 and followed by b series in order to give an organism but we will not code a40 series sepsis we will not code a40 series sepsis because as i mentioned it is formed during pregnancy next we'll talk about alcohol use tobacco use and drug use if a patient has alcohol use or tobacco use or any drug use we do have separate code series we we do have separate code series let's take o99.31 o99.31 series is for alcohol o99.31 31 is for alcohol you need to code additionally the alcohol code f10 you need to code f10 additionally because alcohol code series starts with f10 next drug use which is 32 o99.32 for drug use followed by f11 to f16 or f18 and as well as f19 as well we have codes from that category for drug use next tobacco use it's o99.33 which is f17 for tobacco we'll be coding f17 series right first you need to go with f99.3 series followed by f series remember these three things first one for alcohol use o99.31 followed by f10 for drug use o99.32 followed by drug use code like f level to f16 and f18 as well as f19 third tobacco o99.33 followed by f17 code these three things you need to remember don't remember the code if you have a, a ability to just grab the series grab it or else tabular as well as alphabetical gives and best knowledge while assigning these codes you need to be more familiar using those two books or two pdfs that's the reason whenever i give any quiz follow those two books whenever i give any assignment follow that whenever there is any kind of test whatever it might be in this module follow appropriately based on that books definitely you will be on right track finally we do have the combination codes of pregnancy for poisoning or any toxic effect or any adverse effect in this case we'll be coding o 9a.2 series o 9a.2 series for all poisoning preg uh, poisoning of any pregnancy patient or toxic effect of any pregnancy patient or any adverse effect in pregnancy patient we'll be coding o 9a.2 series followed by poisoning or adverse effect or toxic effect this is how we will be coding whenever we have like this here in combination codes we have learned the top and important guidelines which we have like hiv diabetes gestational induced diabetes abnormal glucose sepsis peripheral sepsis alcohol use tobacco use drug use poisoning toxic adverse effect we have learned all the combination codes and its series and its series before closing this video i would like to share few tips on normal delivery for normal delivery you will be assigning o80 right but in normal delivery if a patient admitted if a patient admitted for let's take patient admitted for gestational diabetes in trimester 2 in trimester 2 patient admitted for gestational gestational diabetes and in trimester 3 that gestational diabetes was resolved that gestational diabetes was resolved now the patient is admitted to the hospital for delivery normal delivery the patient doesn't has any complication the patient doesn't has any complication now in this scenario how we will be coding so simple don't bother about the conditions which has resolved if the condition is still persist the physician will document right it's already resolved then go with o80 
go with O8. And you might be having a question, if we have any other complication like anemia, hypertension, diabetes, which is formed. Let, let, let me give one example. Let me give one example because it will be confusing for you because you are listening this course for the first time. You, it will be confusing for you. Let me clarify. Let me clarify this. Let's take patient A as well as patient B. For patient A, for patient A, there is no complication. There is no complication. But patient had anemia in trimester 2 and resolved in trimester 3. Now there is no complication. There, there is no complication. Here you will be assigning O80. Here you will be assigning O80. Patient number 2. Patient has anemia in trimester 2 and patient has anemia in trimester 3 and patient has anemia during delivery while childbirth as well. In this case, no, no need to code O80. O80 we will be coding when we don't have any complication. Any complication of pregnancy. If we don't have any complication of pregnancy, in that case we will be coding normal pregnancy which is O80. If we have any other, any other complication, don't code other complications with O series. Remove from your mind O80 when you have a combination or when, when you have a complication, not combination, complication. Go with complication. Let's take patient has anemia here. That anemia is resolved. You will be going with O80. Here anemia is there. Don't go with O80. Go with anemia involving pregnancy. Or let's take patient has anemia, uh, hypertension. Hypertension involving pregnancy. Let's take patient has HIV. HIV involving pregnancy. This is how you need to think. Remember, if normal delivery, go with O80. If delivery due to some complication, complication doesn't mean that something happened. Patient has some conditions like anemia, hypertension, whatever it might be. We'll be going that condition as first listed diagnosis. Don't code O80 additionally when we have other conditions in pregnancy patient. Right? So for normal pregnancy or any pregnancy we'll be coding gestational weeks which will be z3a series as well as single live born or single still born it's z37 series from z37 series it might be single twin triple whatever it might be for weeks we'll be coding z3a and for weeks you need to justify which week the patient is and you need to remember the preterm term postterm prolonged the weeks which I have mentioned, if you forget that, just go back and see that. Before closing this video for today, let me give one tip. If a patient is admitted for, let's take anemia, let's take another example here. Let's patient admitted with appendicitis. Patient admitted with appendicitis and they were treating for appendicitis. While treating, while investigating, they found that patient is four weeks of pregnant. Patient is four weeks of pregnant you might be having a question patient is pregnant that means we need to go with o series carefully remember this guideline carefully remember this guideline i'm using this word careful because this is so important it will completely change the code series it will completely change the code series as you all know that for pregnancy we'll be assigning o series as pdx right in this scenario if a patient is admitted for appendicitis, give appendicitis as your first listed and principal diagnosis followed by Z33.1, Z33.1 which is incidental pregnancy. The patient doesn't know that patient is pregnant after investigating patient came for unrelated condition while treating that unrelated condition physician revealed that patient is pregnant in that case we will be coding Z33.1 don't confuse with o series as well as z33.1 if the patient doesn't know she is pregnant and coming for unrelated condition during treatment or during investigation physician tells that hey you you are pregnant so and so weeks four weeks six weeks eight weeks like that in that case you need to code additional code z33.1 this z33.1 never be your principal diagnosis never be your principal diagnosis and for other conditions will be going as usual O series for, for other if a patient is let's take again take two patients this patient is coming she knows she is pregnant this patient doesn't know 
whether she is pregnant or not here she knows pregnant that's the reason we'll be assigning o series here the patient doesn't know she she is coming for unrelated condition assign unrelated condition here let's take in this scenario let's take appendicitis appendicitis should be your first listed in this scenario o series should be should be your first listed and here you will be assigning z33.1 additionally not principal diagnosis this is how we need to code this is how you need to analyze your documents already we have learnt about how to look the document how to apply the guidelines each and every chapter we have many guidelines but pregnancy is something difficult something difficult if you learn that you will be different if you learn that you will be different if you want to be different from others learn this pregnancy because everyone will ignore pregnancy as well as newborn but i will focus more on this chapters because it's an huge chapter for me because it involves includes all the system which we have nervous digestive circulatory every every system it involves it has different codes different series of codes but we have guidelines for only few conditions that's the reason we are discussing this stay tuned to watch my videos about this pregnancy related guidelines it's very very important